missionaries came to Minnesota in the 1830s. But they did not have a lot of effect in, in converting the Indian people to Christianity until the Dakota Conflict of 1862. On the morning of uh, the 23rd of September, Colonel Henry H. Stilley defeated the Dakotas completely and that ended the major action of that war. The men were moved to Davenport, Iowa, and the women were moved to Crow Creek in South Dakota. And missionaries followed them there and continued to, to work with them. During that period, many of the Dakota people, because of their earlier conversion to Christianity in Minnesota, they were then the leaders within the prisons. These former prisoners of war went out with enthusiasm to spread the gospel. Churches were organized and established under the leadership of these men who had no formal training, but God used them and God enabled them. Many of our churches at that time uh, were very strong. People thought so much of their churches that it was really a spiritual sacred place for them. The Indian pastors were committed, they were trusted, they were pastors, they visited the people, they made the church what it was. I had a pastor one time say, Lord, do you ever think about going into the ministry? Uh, the church could sure use you. I was about ready to retire from the government, so uh, I went directly from my retirement from the government to seminary. The, the one thing that um, they know God, they know the Holy Spirit, but one thing our people don't really haven't come to, to, to that finality is Jesus as Savior. And, that, and that's the whole key, is, is Jesus is the answer. So that's why, that's, what, that's the next step. And, and God knows that. But right now we're healing, you know, we're healing. <laughs>